Happy Monday and welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us. Today's the 28th and the last day of February 2011. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at a request video that I got uh, over the past weekend or late last week about resetting a password in Windows. Now, I know of uh, actually two ways to do it that we're going to be covering in this video. And both of those ways uh, require you to be already logged in to an administrative account. So. I know this may not fit the needs of everybody that just searched this video and I apologize for that. However, if you are an administrator on your computer and you're looking to reset a password for another administrator, guest, or um, limited access, I think Windows calls it, in XP37 account, then you, you are in luck because this is going to work in um, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. So the first way is actually pretty simple. You have to go through a couple different steps, but uh, I'll go right along with you. It'll be real easy. First thing, just go ahead and open up your start menu and type in MMC. You're going to find this one program listed under MMC. There it is. Open it up, and here it is. This is a uh, console root here. So what you want to do is go up to File, and then Add Remove Snap In. I'm on a PC, so we're going to have to wait a few seconds for that to load. And then on the left, we've got a list of snap-ins or features that we can add to what we want to look at. Scroll down about halfway. It's called Local Users and Groups. Click on the Add button in between those two boxes, Finish, and then OK. So now we have a name here, uh, Local Users and Groups Local. Click on that. Click on Users. Now just find the user that you want to work with. I've got a home group user, my account, a guest account, and then the native Windows administrator account. So if I want to set a password for the native Windows administrator account, I right hand click, set password, proceed. At this point, I want to tell you that if you're going to be resetting a password, let it not be for purposes that you want to get into somebody's account to hack their files, to take their personal information, or to otherwise do anything illegal, because uh, in no way, shape, or form do I condone that. This is simply if you've forgotten a password and you need to get into this account uh, to retrieve files of your own. Click on Proceed. Now just type your new password. I'll just type a password of test. Tab, confirm your password, OK. There it is, the password has been set. It's not going to ask you for the current password. It's not going to uh, give you any other way, shape, or form of security. So that's the first way to do it. Uh, if, if for some reason this doesn't work, I don't know if all versions of Windows have MMC, at least available to the user. I'm, a, I'm in Windows 7 Ultimate 32-bit right now. You may not have this in Home Premium. So a way to bypass this, go ahead and close it. Do not save. Come over here to the Start menu and type in CMD. You're going to find the command prompt come up, but don't click it. Right hand click it, run as administrator. This is just going to give us some more power within the command prompt. Now from here, you're going to see C Windows System 32. That's the file that we're looking at, or the folder rather, that we're looking at. We don't want to work with that. Type in CD, that stands for Change Directory, CD space, and then your local drive, which is going to be all the way over to the left. For 90% of you, it's going to be drive C, so C colon, slash, just make it the same uh, backslash as the other slashes to the left. So CD, space, C, colon, enter. We have now changed the drive just to C, so we're not specifying Windows and System and 30, System 32. Now type in the following, net, as a network, but just net, space, user. Type enter. This is going to give us the user accounts on the computer. We've got me, James Ryan Schultz, guest, and administrator. So pick which account you want to reset the password for. Type in, again, net space user space. Now hit the, uh, the double quotation mark and type in the name of the user account you want to reset exactly as it appears. We're going to do administrator again. So it's a capital A, D-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-A-T-O-R. And the double quote, space, asterisk. That's the little star or shift eight on your keyboard. Click enter, and now I want you to type a password for the user. Now when you type it, it's not going to display any little asterisks or X's or dots or whatever you type. It's just going to remain blank. That's just security. So we're going to type in test2. Actually, I think I hit 1 and 2, so I'll backspace a whole bunch of times. Test2, enter. Retype the password. Test2, enter. There it is. The command completed successfully. So now if we were to log out and log back into that account, my password is now test2. Again, I, uh, I hope you did not abuse the privileges that I just showed you. If, you, uh, if this didn't work for you, 
I gotta tell you, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a Windows guy anymore. If you comment in the comments, go ahead and ask me, but uh, most likely I am not gonna know another way to help you, and I do apologize for that. I've always worked at administrative accounts, so uh, bypassing what I have just done, uh, I am not, I don't know how to do that. So thanks for watching the video. I hope this could help you regain some of your own lost information. Be sure to check out our site uh, after the video, techinform.us, it's our blog. My uh, personal Twitter account is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. The business Twitter account is twitter.com slash techinformus. And then tomorrow, as we do every Tuesday night, we host a live web show from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash user slash techinformus. All those links are down uh, in the box below the video. So thanks again for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, uh, all, all the fun stuff. And I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.